Hey everybody, welcome to You Fix It Garage, where it's always my goal to help you save money by doing things yourself. My name's Rusty, we're out here in the shop today and we're doing tan PMAGs on the fiber laser. So if you've watched my other videos, uh, I've done multiple other videos on black PMAGs and the colors that I was able to achieve using my fiber laser on a black PMAG. Uh, if you haven't checked those videos out, I'll put a link to them uh, in the description and at the end of this video, uh, you can go check out that uh, uh, library of videos and if you want to you can copy those settings down and use them on your laser or you can go in my in the description there's a link to my Etsy store and for really really cheap you can just download my parameter library for PMAGs uh, for light burn if you're running light burn um, directly to your computer and you can just start going from there without having to copy all of them off the, the videos. One thing I need to note is that I'm using a 50 watt JPT laser with a 175 millimeter lens. Uh, I got this from SFX Lasers, been really happy with it. But if you're running a different laser with a different lens, different power, uh, the settings are obviously, you know, going to be different. But there is a program out there where you can enter your parameters, your settings, your uh, uh, power and lens size for your laser, and it will convert over the parameters so that they'll work with your setup. Um, and I'll put a link to that in the description also where you can download that program too. So today we're talking about uh, tan PMAGs and I was able to come up with three different colors by doing some experimentation that I could really achieve. And, and you can achieve any range of colors, but these were the three that stood out uh, from each other. So this is a darker color that's just a little bit lighter than the native color of the magazine, enough that you can see it. And then there is a medium uh, color and then that really light color. And uh, I think all of those looked really good. I was actually able to achieve a dark, a really dark color that's darker than the magazine, but it started burning the magazine and uh, uh, making the texture kind of bubbly and I didn't like that. So these three, I think are the three that look the best. This magazine right here uh, is the one that I'm going to do the video on. I'm going to show you how to do this cryptic camo. And this is the medium tan color uh, that uh, I'll show you the settings for. So uh, let's get into it. And I'm going to show you how to do this on your magazines. All right, guys, you guys that have watched my videos in the past know that I like to do a little bit of a tutorial um, on my videos rather than just showing the settings. And so today I'm gonna to do a cryptic camo pattern that we're gonna put on this tan PMAG. And uh, so what I've got here, I've got a cryptic camouflage pattern. This is just a JPEG that I pulled off the internet. I did a search for cryptic camouflage silhouette and I picked this one um, and imported it in here. So now what I need to do is I need to select it, right click on it, and trace it. Should mention that I did resize it down to 175 by 175, which is my lens size. And uh, so now we've got it converted to a format that Lightburn will recognize. And I'm gonna come over here to uh, my art library and my templates. And I'm gonna pick this uh, magazine template right here. I'm actually gonna flip this over uh, this way because I want to do the other side of the magazine. So if I put this down in here, I can just pick wherever I think looks good. And uh, you can set this up however you want, whatever you think looks good, but I'm just going to put it right there. So if I select this and then I hit uh, shift, zoom in here. So what I've done is I've selected the cryptic camo and I'm hitting shift and I'm selecting the outline of my magazine. And I'm just going to come up here to Tools, and I'm going to hit Cut Shapes. And that gives me the shape of the PMAG right there. I can delete this, and now I have the shape of my PMAG. So I can drag this over here, put it on my work surface. I'm actually going to grab another one of these, flip it, and I'm going to change it to a toolpath so that I can put it on here and kind of better line up my magazine when I get it um, on here. So if you notice right now, let's see, I need it right there. Everything within the lines of that. And then I can take this and drag it in here where I need it. 
All right, so now when I frame everything, it's going to frame out right. I came up with three different colors that uh, I can use. Uh, let me come over to my material library. So in my material library, I have a tab for firearms. And then down here, I have a tab for tan PMAG. And the color that I'm going to use on hit this is the medium. So I'm going to assign that to this color. All right. And that's all there is to it. I can go over to the bed now and frame this out. If I wanted to make this more colors, which I actually tried and I'll show you in the video, uh, it didn't work out too well, but you can add more colors to this. Um, you just have to be careful about the layering so that you're not uh, stacking layers on top of layers because that obviously doesn't work. So uh, let's go over the laser and frame this thing up, see what it looks like. Got my laser glasses on, magazines on there and framed up, and I'm gonna hit start. This is gonna go pretty fast. So I have this set to uh, do two passes, and uh, the difference between the dark and the medium, which the medium right now is what I'm using, the difference between the dark and the medium on the settings is just the number of passes. So dark is one pass, medium is two passes. And so you'll see as it, uh, and of course it's set to crosshatch also, which really makes it four passes, um, honestly. But uh, as this thing etches out, you're gonna see it's gonna get a little bit lighter, a little more visible, and it'll run those number of passes pretty quick because it's moving at 3,800 millimeters per second. Just like that, it's done. And this is what we're left with. I want to show a little bit of the testing that I did and how I developed these colors. So I started out on this PMAG and I just used the colors, uh, the settings that I developed for the black PMAGs. And uh, I did a few, first a few little spots and I kind of really liked the light color right there, but I just did a little spot of it. And when I did the whole magazine, it didn't come out that light color and I think I was getting more heat because I was doing a little small spot. So I did testing on both sides and uh, even got really dark color right there, but it started to melt the plastic. So I really wasn't happy with the melting on it, but I liked that light color. So that, uh, because I thought I was doing that little small spot, I went back here and I started testing on these stars and I came all the way down through here, um, just using different speed and different power settings to try and achieve uh, the various different colors. And then I ended up cutting this magazine open, uh, did some material testing on the inside of it, and here's what I finally came up with. Um, you can change anywhere in this gradient right here in between these, by varying your speed or your power settings or even your line interval settings um, to achieve anywhere from this to this and any shade in between really. But these are the three that were distinct enough from each other that I felt like uh, was good. So there's the dark, the medium, and the light. And all of those are pretty good. There's not any melting or anything. The medium actually looks the best in my opinion as far as smoothness, but that's what I achieved. And then I went through, I used several magazines testing. This is the one where I, I uh, had my layers messed up, but these two settings right here, this will show you the difference that you can achieve just in uh, power settings. So this is a speed of 3,800 millimeters per second with a power of 55%. And this is a, and two passes, and this is 3,800 uh, 35 percent and two passes so you can see the difference in the shade um, and if i'd only done one pass this would actually be even darker so the more passes the lighter it gets the higher the power the lighter it gets up to a point that it starts burning it and then when it starts burning it it's going to get dark like that Hey guys, I want to apologize for the sound in this video. I just got a new iPhone, which I used to video all my uh, YouTube content. And my microphone was for a lightning connector and I have a USB-C on the new phone. And so I'm just using the native mic on the phone. 
Um, so if you get a little bit of an echo, that's why. But thank you guys for watching. That is the settings for doing a tan PMAG. They're not as versatile as the black, but you can still make some pretty cool uh, designs on your magazines using these settings. Check out my Etsy store if you would. That helps me offset the cost of buying these PMAGs and doing the little R&D that I do to come up with the settings. Um, and just hit that like and subscribe button. If you want to get notifications of future videos, hit that bell icon. And thank you very much for watching.